Hey, y'all, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you all so very much. I have been getting so many questions across all of my platforms regarding Lori Vallow Daybell and what she can expect when she gets to prison. My name's Marcy. I spent 10 years on a maximum security unit in a Texas prison. I can only speak on my experience and what I witnessed in Texas, right? So once you get sentenced to prison, you will go to county jail and wait for to pull chain or to be transported to the prison. And that can take some time. I've seen it take anywhere from two weeks to six to eight weeks. In the county jail where I was at, women who had harmed children were very much a target. If other incarcerated women could get their hands on them, they were throwing punches, they were throwing fists, they were fighting, they were attacking. And because of that, those women were kept in protective custody. I imagine that Lori Davo will be in protective custody while she's in her county jail, which is basically like solitary confinement. It's a single man cell where she will spend 23 hours a day there. She, to get to the showers, she will be escorted in handcuffs, probably. The staff will probably not be very nice to her, at least in the county where I was at, the staff was not going to be nice to someone or kind to someone that had harmed their child. Once she gets to prison, I think that it's quite a different story. Like I said, I was on a maximum security unit. I was housed with women that had a little two-year sentence for a simple possession charge. I was housed with women that had double life sentences for double capital murders and everything in between. I was housed with lots of ladies that harmed their children. I was with ladies that killed their children. I was with ladies that suffered from postpartum depression or postpartum psychosis and killed their babies. I was housed with women that sexually assaulted their children or allowed men to sexually assault their children or sold their children for sexual favors, for drugs, all kinds of the most horrible things. The worst thing that I, the worst crime of a woman that I believe that I was locked up with or the one that hit me the hardest was a woman who had kept her son locked in a cabinet and starved him to death. When he was found, the medical staff believed that he was four years old when he was actually seven. He was so malnourished. They found rat feces in his stomach where he was trying to eat um, to stay alive. It was pretty horrendous. All of these women who committed these horrible acts towards their children, they were walking around in general population. They were going to work with us. They were in the day room watching TV with us. They were playing games, going to rec, all of the things that everyone else was doing. It's quite different than a men's unit. If there was an argument or a, a disagreement about something, their crime would be thrown in their face, like thrown up in their face. They would be called a baby killer. But other than that, they were just there. If you let your mind go to people's crimes and focus on that, it will drive you crazy in there, knowing what some of those ladies did against children and that they're kind of living the same life right next to you. It's even more disturbing. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure and like, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all so much. Let's go, let's go.